What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance. Um, first off, before I start this whole business thing off with y'all, I just want to say happy birthday to my brother and best friend, Sean Sands. Hope you have a great birthday, bro. Love you, man. Hope you have a good one, man. But I just wanted to talk about a few things here. And then, and one of those things is something that I have noticed over the years, and that's why a lot of these major artists that are up and coming, and not just up and coming, they're a lot of them are already famous. Um, but it's why a lot of them, you know, fail so fast, and what they basically lack. And I know a lot of people are going to hate me for this, but I don't care. I'm just speaking the truth and being honest. And I'm not doing it to be mean. I'm doing it to be constructive. It's meant to be constructive criticism to maybe help a lot of you artists that are already out there rethink how you are, like how you're doing things. See, a lot of you artists today, they go for like that super choppy, you know, high-end intensity, you know, trap style be like, they like to go super fast and everything like that. And that's fine. That's all well and good. But this is something that even my best friend, Matt, aka PFB, has spoken about in some of his vlogs in the past. Rapping fast is not necessarily rapping good. And it's completely true. You can be a fast rapper and a chopper, but if you don't have any substance or even any control, you're going nowhere. Like, I've had to learn this over time myself. I hated it. And that's what a lot of you artists out there these days lack, is control. When you're sitting there chopping. Sorry about that, y'all. But when you're sitting there chopping and you're doing all this stuff, like, you basically say, fuck the fundamentals. You basically say fuck all that and go off the handle and do however you see fit. And that's not how it works. A lot of you guys seem to forget where you started. It all started with basic. You gotta work your basics. You gotta work, you know, your fundamentals just right out of the gate. And a lot of people hate me. For doing the style that I do when it comes to beats, which is like that repetitive, simple stuff. But that's what challenges artists. You take any artist, give them a simple beat, they can't do shit with it. And now you give them like a beat, like that's super complicated and crazy and all over the place, they can rap to that no problem, which is sad. If you're a truly good artist, you should be able to adapt and be able to rap on any beat and hit that beat on point every time. Every time you should be able to do it. Why do you think guys like Mike Shinoda from Lincoln Park are so successful? Because he knows how to switch it up. He knows how to take simple stuff, work with simple stuff. He knows how to take complicated stuff and work with some of the most advanced stuff out there, honestly. Like, he's really good with stuff like that. Yo, Yousef, what is up, man? It has been years, man. What is up, man? How you been? Yo, shout out to Yousef, man. It has been way too long, man. How have you been, man? But, like, that's what a lot of these artists these days lack. Like, let me show you an example. Alright, this is a beat that I did, like, a while ago. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of spit an example for you guys on how to use control when it comes to beats. And I still work my basics on even this track to this very day. Check it. Ow. 
Let this beat drop in all that. All right, here how it goes. Fast, fast, slow, slow. Check it out. Gotta make control. Gotta keep on going. Gotta keep on moving now. Never gonna look back. Always on the motherfucking the tent. Yeah, you thinking that you motherfucking stop me. You ain't motherfucking gonna get me. This shit ain't motherfucking anything new to me. So come on now, motherfucking get me. You see how I went with the beat on that? And that's what a lot of these artists lack, man. They lack control. They lack the timing. And that's what a lot of my beats revolve around are being simple. You have to be able to adapt to any style beat to be successful. Because a lot of your artists out there, they fail so quickly because they do not work their basics. And it's honestly sad. And see, that's the thing though, Chad. Like, I'm not doing it to be a dick. I'm doing it to help those that I know. Like, not just as friends, but I know people that, you know, that are artists out there that don't really have that guidance. And that's kind of what I'm doing. I'm basically being that guy to kind of help those artists become as successful as they can be. Like, I ain't just worried about myself. Like, my stuff's good, man. Like, dude, I can release an album whenever I want now. Like, that's not a big issue. Right now, my main goal is to, you know, like I said, I am possibly getting signed to a new label. More on that to come. I don't know if this is happening or not. But my main goal, as well as worrying about my own stuff, is kind of showing these new artists that are coming up the right way to do things, whether it's, you know, the business side of things, whether it's recording, you know, no matter what it is, because I want every artist out there that's up and coming to be as successful as they can be. I don't want these young and up and coming artists to go out on stage and look like a complete idiot. I don't want these artists to, you know, record an album and it sound, you know, like crap. That's why I make stuff like this to help them. Because I know what it's like. I was there once myself. I've been there more than once. And, you know, and like I said, that's why I do things like this. Like, I'm not worried about my own stuff. Because my own stuff's good. It's basically managing itself at this point. Like, you know, every so often, you know, I'll get a few views on Spotify and stuff. So, like, that, my music's fine. Like, I can record and release an album like that. Like, no problem. Like, if I wanted to, like, right now, which I probably might end up doing later on, is I may end up recording and releasing a new album for next week. Because I have not released an album in, like, a couple months, and I need to do that. I need to get back on that. But with that aside, you know, when I'm not working on my music or my artwork or anything, my main goal is helping these up-and-coming artists that are actually really talented, you know, I'm basically doing all this to help them in the right direction and show them, hey, like, you might want to be like this guy over here who's rapping super quick and super fast and just going off the wall bananas. And that's all well and good. Like, if you're doing a freestyle track or whatever, hey, by all means, knock yourself out. But if you're trying to record an album that you want to be good, like, you want the album to actually be really good. You need to learn control. And that's what a lot of these artists these days lack is control and speed and the ability to adapt.
like I said, I could care less about my own stuff at this point. Because like I said, my stuff's doing fine. Like, even though I'm not making that much, it's still able to mostly, you know, manage itself through streams and stuff like that. So, like, I'm not too worried about that. Because, like I said, I know a lot of young artists that are, oh, pardon me, that are out there that are actually very, very talented. And, you know, and I want to see every single one of them, you know, be as successful as they can be. Because I know what it's like to not have that guidance of, you know, having that person saying, hey, you know, like, you need to do this and this. Like, I've been there, because when I started out in music, I had no help whatsoever. Like, at all. I had to learn everything on my own. And I don't want these guys to have to go through that. I don't want them to go through the struggles of not having any help at all, like I had to. Like, I had to learn on my own from ground zero and up. Like, when I first started music, I had no clue what I was doing at all. Didn't know why well, someone knew how to structure a beat for some weird reason. I just was able to do it. I don't know how. But, like, other than that, like, other than structuring a simple... Like, you can actually, if you look back at my original stuff... Like, you can see my progression from where I was at and where I'm at now. Like, back then, I was always adding effects and this and that, which I do still do sometimes. Not gonna lie. It's always good to, you know, add that little bit of, you know, sound effects to really pop the beat off. But with these kids, not a lot of them have that guidance that's needed. And a lot of these guys on YouTube... I have no fucking clue what they're talking about. A lot of these guys are always like, oh, you need to do it this way. You need to spend money to do this and that. No, you don't. Everything I do, I do right from here at home. I do everything here at home with zero money. I started my whole career with no money at all. All I have is Soundtrap. Band lab and a mic. That's all I got. No money whatsoever. And now look at me. I'm getting a few cents every stream. And why? Because I kept at it. I kept going and I kept going. And over time, I learned how to do all this stuff. And a lot of people keep asking me, well, why aren't you making hundreds and hundreds of dollars? Because I don't want to be a millionaire. Like, there are some people that do. Like, some people... Like, me, some people want... Alright, let's put it this way. You got your dude over here that wants a Ferrari, wants a Lamborghini, or a million dollar house. Me? I'm comfortable with an 86 Corolla or a 67 Chevy. There are some people that want... Fame and fortune. I just want to be. I just want to be a simple dude making a living doing what he loves. And along the way, if I can help a couple artists get to that next level to where they need to be, hey, that's great. And see, that's the thing, though, Chad. I don't want these guys that are actually really good. Like, I don't want them figuring that shit out on their own. Because a lot of the times, the people that do have to figure it out on their own get misled. A lot of them do get misled by the wrong people. Just like I got misled multiple times. I've gotten misled. I've gotten lied to. I've gotten screwed over. And it's all because I wasn't listening to the right people. So like, I know firsthand what these kids go through when they say they don't have the right kind of guidance when it comes to music. Like they 
they've structurally and business wise don't really know how to do everything and that's why I make you know the videos that I make like when I did that video on how to make it in the music industry with no money at all and how to sell beats properly and when, and like that video actually went and did pretty well actually I was surprised at how well that actually did but as far as like beats go I don't do that leasing bullshit and a lot of producers and I mean a lot of producers hate me for this but I still don't care a lot of people and even other people actually outside of producers hate me for it but I run my stuff the proper way I sell my beats for ten dollars you buy a pack of ten be pack of ten beats for me for ten dollars we're good they're yours to keep do whatever you want with I don't care I don't do that leasing bullshit that leasing bullshit is just extra nonsense and isn't needed like the whole leasing thing is honestly it's dumb like what happened to just simply buying and selling beats like a regular beat shop like seriously like what happened to that what happened to the simplicity of it and see and that's why I'm actually becoming I'm slowly becoming successful at everything I do because I keep it simple I cut out the bullshit I cut out the leasing I cut out all the shit that isn't needed and I just get right to the point you know you buy a pack of 10 beats for me for ten dollars they're yours to do whatever the fuck you want with you want to say they're yours hey go ahead I don't give a shit I really don't care But when it comes to these artists that are up and coming, you always got these people in your ear saying, hey, do this, buy this for 50 bucks, spend this much on this. No. So let me tell you something. The world of music has changed drastically. And when I mean drastically, I mean drastically. Like, it's not how it used to be. Nowadays... You can start your own record label right from home with no money at all. Like legit. All you need is a guy that produces beats and Soundtrap or Band Lab and you're good to go. And then all you gotta do is hit up a Muse, which is what I go through. Upload your stuff on there. Boom. You're good to go. You can start releasing albums next day. But a lot of people don't think like that. And that's what's so Last sad. fucking morning. What? Tone your voice down or you're not going to be able to have that on at night. You understand me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll run through the text here. Sorry, I'm sitting here reading through all these texts. Like, there's a lot.
Come on, though. Zinner in the sense. Give me a minute. Damn it, I'll have to read it afterwards. Ah, uh, bro, like I said, guys, you know, I'm at where I want to be. I really am. Like, I'm comfortable with where I want to be at. Like I said, I don't want to be super stardom famous. That's not me. Like I said, if I can help a few artists along the way, that's great. Because that's my goal, is to not only make it for myself, but to help others become the best that they can be. To become as successful as they know that I know that they know that they can be. Like, I know a lot of y'all hate me going live about it and stuff, but it, it's true. And I hate seeing these new artists get led in the wrong direction by guys that just want money out of it. Like I said, I don't want anybody's money. I want to see these artists that are up and coming, that are talented, make it. And all I'm going to do is what I can and help those that I can in any way that I can. Like I said, I'm not worried about my stuff. My stuff's doing fine on its own. Like, I can easily release albums any day of the week. I don't, like, I can release an album right now and have it set and ready to release by next week. Which I may end up doing. Because I do have some new stuff that I do want to release. Which I may do. I don't know yet. I haven't decided. But I might. But like I said, I'm comfortable with where I'm at. And I would rather see these kids that are really good, you know, make it. Instead of having to learn on their own and get led in the wrong direction. Because like I said, I've gotten led in the wrong direction. And it took me a long, long time to get to where I'm at now. Which is where I needed to be the entire time. It took me a long time to get to that. And, you know, I'd hate to see a lot of these young cats that are out there that are damn good get screwed over like I got screwed over. So I'm going to help as many fucking people as I can. I don't care how many times I have to go live about it. I don't care how many times I have to drill it into people's heads. You know, I'm going to do what I have to do. Because these kids deserve a fair chance. Like I said, I'm comfortable with where I'm at. I love being able to release my stuff and have a normal life. I love it. I absolutely love it. Because I can do whatever I want, whenever I want. I can sit down and record an entire album. Like I said, I can record an album tonight. Upload it to a muse. And have it ready by next week. And ultimately, that's my goal. Is to help as many of these young artists as I can. To help keep them from being screwed over like I was screwed over. I was screwed over so many times. So many times. And believe me, dude, that's what I'm doing at the same time. I'm building my future while helping these kids out. That's exactly what I'm doing. And a lot of people don't see that. They don't see the bigger picture. 
And that's what's wrong with a lot of people these days. They don't focus on the big picture. See, while I'm building my fan base, I help out a few artists. I release a song or two, I help out a few artists. I release an album, I help out three artists. So while I'm building my legacy and I'm building my future and I'm running my shop and I'm doing all this stuff, I take the time out to help these people that really need it because I've been there. I know exactly what it's like to be there. Like, and a lot of people don't get that about me. Like, I'm a lot smarter than they think. Like, I'm able to balance my custom clothing shop and my music all at the same time while still maintaining a normal life. Because running my shop, that's just, that's just my job. Doing my music, that's something I enjoy. I don't see my music as a job. I see it as something I enjoy, something I love to do. And I'm still able to maintain a normal life. Granted, I might take breaks from time to time because obviously it's needed for, you know, everything that's going on and health and mental issues over time from working so much but you know a lot of people don't think about that they always treat it as a job they never treat it as something they enjoy they don't treat it as I don't want to say a hobby but kind of like they don't treat it like that like I go all I go live all the time because you know it, it's it's fun to hang out with you guys on here it's fun to talk about you know real issues that need to be spoken about it's fun to help people through these live streams and if somebody gains some help from me through it that's great that's another person I can help out that's not going to be led down the wrong path Like I said, I can easily, I can do my music whenever. If I get custom orders for t-shirts or shoes, hey, that's great. Just send me the image, bam, knock it out in a couple minutes. Hang on it. I hate seeing these up and coming artists that are damn good at what they do being screwed over. It, it kills me. And people wonder why I get a lot of hate. It's because I see right through the bullshit. I see right through it. And I get right to the point. I don't screw around. I don't do this middleman, you know, this much for this lease, this much for this, this, and this. No. Keep it simple. You buy a pack of 10 beats from me, they're yours to keep and do whatever you want. If you want a custom clothing design, send me the image, I can knock it out in a couple minutes. Simple as that, done. Another day at the office, knocked out at the end of the day. Exactly, dude. 
See, now, you, now you're starting to think like me. I swear to God, you're in my head half the time, dude. But like I said, y'all, I do hope that this helped you guys out in a very, very big way. Because like I said, I don't want to see anybody that's going to come and get screwed over by the wrong people. Like I said, I'm fine where I'm at music-wise. Career-wise and music-wise, I'm perfectly fine with where I'm at. Because I'm building myself up. Again, I should say rebuilding myself up. Because I did take a couple years off. So I'm kind of rebuilding myself back up to where I need to be. But a lot of the fans I had in the beginning are still there, so... What up to all my original fans out there? What up? Um, but uh, I do hope that this helped you guys with a little bit of insight on what you can really do to avoid getting fucked over and screwed over by the wrong people. And I hope this helps those of you that are having trouble learn a little bit. And for all you artists out there, I hope this kind of helped you what you need to focus on. Keep it simple, work your basics, you know, work the simple stuff. And just stop treating yourself like a job. Treat it as a hobby or something that you love to do. Because if you treat it as a job, you're going to hate it eventually. Might not be today, might not be tomorrow, might not be two, three years from now, but eventually, you'll end up hating it, because you treated it like a job, instead of something you love to do. So those are the two lessons for today, man. You know, treat what you love to do as what you love to do and not a job. Like, stop treating your music as a job. Treat it as a something that you enjoy to do. And work your basics. Work your fundamentals. Learn control. Learn speed. Learn how to do flow and control at a basic level. That way you're not getting fucked up on stage half the time. But with that being said, y'all, I'm about to hop off here and try to release some new shit if I can. Because I haven't released anything in a while, so I may just end up doing that. But with that being said, y'all, this has been the Blood Chance, and I'm out of here, man. Peace.